Hey guys, today I'm taking a quick look at the Pekitner can opener. Look at that, it's bizarre looking, isn't it? Oh, you really gotta see this. So why did I buy this can opener? At first glance, this can opener looks unusual. And it is unusual. First of all, it doesn't have a squeeze handle to press a blade through the top of the can like old-fashioned can openers have. It's clear from reading some of the other reviews that some people got frustrated with this newfangled can opener because they couldn't just look at it and understand how it works. And you might spend a couple of minutes staring at it, and by you, I mean me, because, yeah, I did that. But there's a simple trick to using this can opener. Are you ready? Check out the instructions. And that's not meant to be judgy or sarcastic. Hey, I jumped in without reading the instructions too. By the way, I love it when I'm successful with a new product after I've read the instructions. It makes me feel superior. Oh, that sounds awful. By the way, I love it when I'm successful with a new product after reading the instructions because it makes me feel helpful. Because then I can pass my tips on to you, preventing you from needing to read the instructions. First of all, this can opener is built different. The blade is barely visible and sneaks in where you wouldn't expect it, cutting the can from the side. I know. It took my breath away too. To begin, place the silver bar on top of the lid and rotate what Pekitner calls the big knob to slide the rim of the can between the notched wheel and the body of the can opener. When you begin turning the knob, you'll feel it grab and lock into place. Here's a close-up side view that shows the mysterious blade dislodging the top of the can. The powerful grip of the notched wheel leaves grooves in the rim of the can. When you see these grooves approaching the notched wheel from the other side, you'll know you've nearly completed a full circle. Also, the pressure you feel while turning the knob will release, becoming easier when you've reached a full circumference. With a gentle twist, the lid of my can of coconut milk separates, still attached to the opener. One thing that amazed me is that the separated lid doesn't have the sharp, jagged edges that haunt our worst can opening nightmares. Instead, you can use your fingers to pull the separated lid from the can opener and place it back onto the can. This lid is easy to slip back into place. It's not a perfect seal, but I use a produce rubber band like those you'd find on celery or broccoli to better secure the lid and tighten the seal during storage. So considering all these tips I've given you, goodbye. Oh, no, I don't mean goodbye. I mean, this is a goodbye. You see how I messed with those words like that? So if any of this information was helpful, right on. You're welcome.